Not everyone knows this about me, but I'm a mixed race person. I look like I'm your run-of-the-mill Irish, English, German, white dude. But in truth, flowing through the blood in my veins and the DNA in my system, I have African-American heritage. Nigerian, actually. I also have some Jewish heritage in my genes and my DNA. The Goldensteins from the Black Forest of Germany. My grandfather was born in Logan, Utah to a Mormon family. So I guess if I'm going to say that I'm partially Jewish, if we're talking about one religion, I guess I should claim the other religion. So I'm a Jewish Mormon and I'm black. And that's not what people think when they look at me. But I am. And I guess I'm defending myself. I'm defending Obama. A lot of people say to Barack Obama or about Barack Obama, you're not really black. You're half black and half white. Well, Obama and I don't appreciate, I think I can speak for him, we don't appreciate you choosing which part of our heritage, our background, you are going to just throw away and disregard and be disrespectful toward. We want you to look at us for all of who we are and who we identify as, depending on the day. So if I tell you that I'm a black Jewish Mormon, I hope you take that, hope, take that to the bank. Um, that's, that's how I feel. That's who I feel that I am as a person. And I've got the DNA to prove it. I've got the genealogy to prove it. That's who I am. And you naysayers that say, well, you're not black enough. You're not Jewish enough. The bigoted attitude of these people Please respect me for the min minority that I am. You have no idea what I've been through, the road that I've walked. So, I guess I'm just saying in a friendly way, please treat Barack and, and I a little bit better and let us choose which part of our heritage. Whether it's a tenth of a percent or one percent or fifty percent or ninety-nine percent, it is up to us to choose. It's not up to you the outsider to choose. It's our life. Let Barack and I choose for ourselves.